hello everybody good morning good afternoon good evening i greet you in the name of our lord jesus christ now the video we are going to consider uh, we are having a uh, two men of god that are going to prominently feature in this video one is apostle joshua selma and the other one is apostle es takim now i don't so much call people men of god and uh, servants of god but i think i should be able to call these two men of god i'm not saying this because i'm the holy spirit because i am god and i know them now but by what we can testify of them we can say safely that they are men of god i understand that many people have issues you will have issue with any of them you may have issues with apostle takim may have issues with apostle joshua sermon if you are a follower of sermon and you are you are close hearted you may not like E.S. Takin because he has criticized some of the errors that Seman has preached in the past. All right. And uh, if, if you are in Kenya also and you are followers of some of these apostles and bishops and pastors in Kenya, you will also hate Takin. And, um, you know, so vis-a-vis, so -vis, you may also not like Seman. But one thing I want to warn you of is beware of hatred hatred is not of christ christians are not supposed to hate we are not supposed to hate the bible said that we have been called unto peace we are peace ambassadors we don't hate tell the truth and not with bitterness whatever you don't like in a person point it out if you are very sure that that is an error but don't let that build up some form of roots of bitterness within you so now there is a trend that is taking place in the church uh, last time out i spoke about preachers that would you know bring out to two persons of opposite sex and would mostly this thing is, is mostly happening in prophetic churches uh, is he your partner is he your partner partner not your wife not your husband partner even boyfriend if you have if you have been listening to uh this man in south africa um Af Lukao, he does that a lot. Boyfriend, girlfriend. Now, the issue is that what so many preachers preach today is carefulness, not abstaining. Not to abstain from sexual intimacy, but to be careful. So the carefulness is to be careful, not to impregnate the woman. And woman, don't be careless as to get pregnant in the process of this year dating. And that word dating is part of the things that we are going to discuss in this video now for a very long time i've been seeing apostle joshua sermon particularly you know with a particular lady in pictures the, the you know pictures online didn't know her name before now but i got to know her name in the course of making this video that her name is sandra and funny enough she's also been called cell woman or mama of the koinonia fellowship center so apostle um he has taken made a post about this and if you are not open-hearted you will see it differently for me that is the way i saw it the way i saw it is quite different from how it may sound though it may sound harsh it may sound very forceful but when you read and digest and allow it to you know to digest within you you will understand that that was a post of somebody that is concerned one for the body of christ two the understanding of the youth three the reputation of the man of god involved the servant of god involved apostle joshua selma now these are the three things and unfortunately uh persons and older pastors in nigeria that supposedly uh are supposed to have looked into these things and maybe offer the advice i don't know if they have done maybe in the secret but then it is not uh baiting still seeing the pictures so what we are looking at here is the christian standard of courtship how long should a christian court and mind you the word dating is an alien word in the system of zion that you will see in this post made by post es takim we'll be back after this intro you are welcome to the end time truth television the channel for the lovers of truth for the truth of the end time so if you are a lover of truth give us a subscription and god bless you shalom so uh apostle es takim made this post on facebook and there are subsequent responses of course you know it will generate a lot of ripples 
but then here happens to be the first one that was made about three days ago i've been waiting for at least one father of faith in nigeria to speak on this but to my surprise none has spoken who will tell this generation that from biblical point of view joshua selman's marital process is wrong and that it should not be copied you can't tell me that it is morally right to be dating a lady that long yet you have not married her it's even shocking to hear them use the word date a lot of reasons have been given for this but with the reports i hear of what is happening in the koinonia fellowship elites in abuja nigeria the true reason is yet to come to light clearly it is carefully being concealed because it is dark and carnal you can live the way you want as an unbeliever and we won't bother but not as one who is seen as a man of god you should uphold standards who will tell this generation that in christianity we do not date a woman we court a woman god has pre-planned to be our wife and that dating and courting are not the same one belong to babylon worldly system and the other zion jesus system who will tell this generation that until seman and that lady are pronounced husband and wife by an arm of church authority a lady should never act as the woman of his life or sell woman or mama of the fellowship he leads as it's reported to be happening from what i have seen in over 31 years of ministry very small years compared to that of some preachers who allow this worldly system of getting married to happen are either living in the scene of premarital sex with the women or the women in question are trying to secure their territory after seeing signs of abandonment that's what happens when preachers walk in the flesh in marriage matters or follow the world system but cover it with spirituality if they are public figures you will find them using what is considered by some as amazing bible insights to cover their darkness i know i'll be stoned by over 90 percent of the so-called christians on this some will attack me screaming judge not some will say we are bitter or jealous i expect all kinds of babyish reaction to come out of some others will use matthew 7 verses 1 to 5 to resist this truth but they forget that verse 6 of the same chapter gave us a picture of what people who try to resist the truth really are in god's sight most people in our age do not know the work of a watchman god set on the walls of doctrine and ministerial ethics hence attacking us senselessly when we do our giving god giving jobs most are ignorant of the instruction the bible gave to people in our spiritual capacity to publicly rebuke and correct so that the church of god will be sound in faith so they will take this to be an attack on selman but we never consider the attacks that our lifestyles as preachers are launching on the doctrine of christ who we claim to represent it is unfortunate that we live in a church generation that have become dead to righteousness but are alive to sin hence very few can tell what is morally right i am even shocked that the so-called fathers of faith in nigeria are quiet about it following the number of their youths who listen to him this could be one of the many dark reasons why sermon tried to correct paul one of the new testament voices whose christ-centered writing was canonized in scriptures most of what jesus wrote by the hands of paul cried against the kind of moral behavior and ethical misconduct you see today in the secret and public lives of most of preach of us preachers my concern is the spiritually hungry but blind youths who are following this darkness that is being mixed with light i followed it in my youthful days misled by a notable father of faith in the 1990s and it almost took me to the grave posted this to request that if you want to get properly married follow the bible order not the sermon order amen i'll block whoever mislead people by supporting what the bible disapproves in my comment box so comment responsibly and just like i said that in this kind of this kind of post you will expect all kinds of attacks you will expect those that will come to uh, defend selman you would expect those that will come to attack takin you will see those that will call him jealous call him you know uh, being judgmental 
and what have you. And so people, of course, reacted and comments were made. But we're not going to look at the whole comment, but there is one that you know, stood out. The one that said that Apostle Takim was on a smear campaign. And so Apostle Takim, you know, who is not ready actually to back down and even told people, he said, don't expect people to like me because me, I'm not even expecting anybody to like me. I'm not a baby girl. So he is not shying away from this kind of, I wouldn't call it controversy, but that is what it is. It looks like. I think he is the kind of Arome here in Nigeria and he over there in Kenya. So this was what he, he responded to being accused of embarking on a smear campaign. We forget too easily that we are a city set on a hill that cannot be hidden. Smear campaign. Are you not seeing the smear on the kingdom of God from what he is doing? My vision is to save a generation from a wrong path taken by one they follow. If you call my apostolic counsel smear campaign, what will you call what the Bible say about all evil appearances? Things most of us are doing and hurting the kingdom of God. Smear campaign from Jesus? Think the sermon and sermon issue is denting the kingdom of God and should be addressed because most of it has been in public domain long before 2020. For those saying you should have reached him privately, sermon was reached by his own close friend about this and it ended badly. Today they are separated. Is that a person who will listen? I doubt. I keep saying our public image as preachers is not our private image. We are different people privately, but our way we shall think differently. I keep getting other dark information about these things that are not good for any years. I assure you, more dark things will keep coming out on social media if they do not get married soon. It will not be good for the kingdom of God if those things keep coming out. Whoever is mindful of the kingdom of God will advise Simon to get married to his cell woman as soon as possible because the parents they claim we are hindering them died over two to three years ago. It's my prayer that he gets married in 2024 and kill this smear on the kingdom. So going further from here, he made another post that's supposed to correct the notion that, you know, it is a personal life or that he was jealous or whatever. Now, the thing is that as Christians are more so public figures. Now, everybody that is in the public, you know, eyes actually stands the dangers of having his private life public. And so he suggested that being in the eyes of the public, even your private life must or would be scrutinized and be discussed. Because God has placed you in the eyes of the public, you no longer have a private life because he wants you to be a standard. You are expected to be upright privately or publicly because the public have the right to discuss your private life. There are established ways of getting married. When you want to get married to a woman, you should not be calling her like this. She's not your wife yet. You don't go and be holding her like and walking the road or holding your hands. That is the system of Bab Babylon. For instance, you are taking your wedding photos. Even if you have paid her bride price, you don't hold her and take a photo as if two of you are married. They will see you say couple. No, you are not. You have not been. You are not yet a couple. Under God, it is his, it's his servants on earth that should declare you after you have fulfilled the obedience of satisfying the parent holy servants so you don't declare yourselves that is the ways of god so well the thing is that um you know when i read this and i discovered that these people have courted for 10 years say i don't want to use the word dating dating is repulsive let's use the word courting courtship is fine it's better than dating people date you know it is the word system just like he rightly said there 10 years is quite a long time and uh maybe you know like it was stated in one of the posts there that parents i wouldn't know which parents whether it was the parents of the lady because i think selma's parents are still alive so maybe the girl's parents maybe were against the marriage and now that they have they have they said to have you know slept the house they have gone about three years ago i don't know what else is you know keeping them i don't know what else is i don't know somebody was saying in the comment section maybe apostle joshua sermon is trying to copy apostle paul but apostle paul was not known to have a woman around him that is quite the difference the difference now by saying this i'm not actually saying that yes for them to have courted for 10 years 
that they must have been sleeping together. Even though there was something that looked like that in the post that Apostle Taki made. Many years of dating and being seen together without sex, tell that to the kids in your father's house. The hypocrisy among us preachers is terrible. Let he that named the name of the Lord depart from iniquity. We have all done bad things. We know that that is not possible. That's why in the church we grew up, courtship cannot be more than three years. Most to talk in Richard. So, but this is not what I'm looking at. I'm not actually looking at this. And like I said, if you if you will interpret Apostle Takim's stand on this, he is concerned for the body of Christ, for the future and the knowledge of the youth, and for Joshua Selman himself. That was why he closed his remark by saying he prayed for them that they should get married in 2024. So he was actually concerned. For you to understand what I'm actually trying to say, like I said, not just that. Apostle Takim wanted to attack Selma and even people have started already talking about it and I actually I think it was a post that was made by someone um, that sparked off all these things according to this video uh, you know clip that I got from Apostolic Truth Bites now this this was the post that was made and somebody responded under the comments now here it is and this is how this kind of a thing you know begin to generate all kinds of uh, unpalatable attention and before you know it it becomes a serious dent to the body of christ the whole ordeal began with tweet from don ade who posted a photo of these two and said someone posted this on whatsapp and said if you know you know please what does this mean i really want it to be what i'm thinking but end of quote that attracted a lot of comments and one that stood out was this one from activist manny which reads he's been dating sandra since their school days i pray they end up getting married i'm not a fan of people calling her cell woman and mama etc because they are not even married and the church community has joined already. I pray they get married in 2024 though, end of quote. But I have watched a video where Selman answered a question on how he handles, you know, the issue of sex urge. In a, a video, I think that was an interview, a question he was answering, I've forgotten, but this was what he said in that video. Pastors. Powerful. Yes, sir. Powerful. Thank you very much, sir. My pleasure. This is also a bit personal. You are still single. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How do you handle the issue of sisters? And, and that is also a lesson for your ministers in the sense that I mean, see how God has helped you. Uh, and I can relate with that because I also know one or two people who um, had a similar deal with God and by the grace of God uh, rose into the purpose of God for their lives before they married. So for your ministers and, and for yourself, someone like you, how do you balance that side? I mean, to be focused, to be single, and how do you deal with sisters? Okay, I appreciate. Um, I, I think the issue of ladies and sisters and so on uh, is not limited to whether you are married or not. It's only minimized when you are married. That, that's what I believe. Anybody who will be very honest, You're right, you know. Uh -huh. So... Um, I think the key is values mm. and principles. Wow. Yes. The key is to be able to put values uh, because I would submit to you that um, many people who may have problem with sisters, the ladies don't intentionally come to cause trouble. They are just being ladies. <laughs> and uh, ladies will generally want a shoulder with all due respect to all the ladies following and the ladies around. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that uh, there are few ladies, and 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 I think let's honor what the Holy Ghost is doing in the body. I don't. There are few ladies that will actually get up intentionally to say, "I want to destroy." There are people like that, but I think what happens is that the devil takes advantage of the vulnerability and the compassion of both the leader and the people involved. Because once you are emotionally connected to people, for instance, you have a sister or someone in, in the church or the fellowship and you know about their background, you know about what they've gone through, you understand the peculiarity of their dealing and they've been open to you on that wise. Naturally, you will be soft-hearted towards those people. And even when they misbehave, from the lens of what you know about them, you will express a lot of compassion. Now, that compassion can become dangerous. That is why you must balance it with values. Values like um, 
visitations counselings you know ladies you don't just invite sisters to say come to my house come and help me cook rice cook beans it may not be seen but you are near Sodom the Bible says when 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 um uh, what's his name when lot when lot left abraham he didn't go into sodom he stayed near sodom by the time abraham would come to rescue lot he was in the middle of sodom so um sometimes uh, sometimes it's important to to just have standards and values all right anyways um i don't have so much to say I don't have too much too, so much to say but what i completely agree that majority of the youths who are following opposed to joshua selma may begin to think that it is okay to to date and if uh, if it's once that you know call it coaching now sometimes don't get me wrong sometimes two people may have come in contact with themselves and they already know they were going to marry themselves and they could face battles they could face hardships, they could face hindrances, and they could navigate fights against this. And the more they fight, the more the battle expands until they get to the end of it before they get married. I understand this one. Now, sometimes it might be from background, it might be the parents, at times it could be finance. You know, at times it could be one thing or the other, some kind of hindrance. They desire to get married. They know, you know, they were meant for each other. They have prayed and it has been confirmed that they are the will of God for themselves. But then battles can ensue. That one is there. That one is there. But for 10 good years, 10 years, I wouldn't know the battle. Okay. If it was the battle of the parents of one of them that says no. Now, the ways have been paved. I think it is right to be right for Apostle Joshua Sermon to do the right thing. Those who were closer to him may know better, but Apostle Takim says he is getting some information from the same place that is not good. Now the thing is that he answered every question in in, in in one of the posts that I read to you. And of course, some persons may be saying, why didn't he go or why didn't he call him privately? Now it was stated in that post that his friend, his very close friend, um, Joshua Selman's very close friend talked about this with him and it did not end well. Obviously, um, Selman did not receive it with grace. Maybe because of the way the friend presented it or that Selman doesn't want to discuss it at all, at all. Maybe he doesn't even want to get married. Maybe they have discussed it and, you know, I don't know. But which lady would want to stay in a man's life for 10 years and her time is being wasted if she was 20 years when they started dating now she should be about 31 years old so it is not she's not getting any younger was to say man Neda is getting any younger so i think what should be done must be done so if the two if himself and his friend fell out because of this issue it becomes a very difficult thing for somebody who is almost a complete a total stranger to want to venture in to talk to him about it it might not also be well received now like i said i don't know how the friend presented it but however the friend presented it to him i don't think that if all things being equal this was enough for friends to go their separate ways so it must have been a very serious disagreement and misunderstanding that took place between the apostle and his friend who we don't know his identity well anyway i am stopping it here and i want to read your reactions i want to see your reaction what do you think you know about this for me it is quite understandable what apostle takim is driving at god bless every one of you thank you so much in case you have been offended no verse no verse you hear no verse all right <laughs> all right god bless you i will see you in the next video please uh please 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 sus subscribe to my second channel this channel is under attack again it is under terrible attack again though i trust god that we will survive it again but please i beg you the link to that video i mean to that channel is in the description center of this video and i'll be pinning it at the comment area please use the link and subscribe to my backup channel formerly the end is nearer television but now maranatha tv thank you i will see you in the next video till then from me to you shalom <laughs>